Okay, I'd like to demonstrate um, conducting a two sample t-test in both Insight and Excel. So uh, the t-test would test a null hypothesis along the lines of mu1 equals mu2. So we've got two groups um, versus an alternative which either has does not equal less than or greater than uh, replacing the equality. The test statistic is the standardized score. So two sample means. The difference is specified in H0, so in my example 0. And then the standard error of the difference in the two sample means, which has, um, as I've written it, population variance 1 and population variance 2. How we treat those will determine both the distribution for the test statistic and the p-value, and I'll, I'll comment on that as we um, hit those issues in the software. So first insight. I've loaded up some data and so the first variable weight um, lists all the weights. The second variable gender has a one for females and two for males. Now um, Insight, the way it works is it uses a, a categorical variable to identify which sample is which. So before we do the test we need to define that so I'm choosing the variables menu and then convert to categorical so gender is currently it thinks it's numerical so we're going to set up a categorical variable based on that if we wanted to um, we could make it slightly more user-friendly by um, renaming those levels so variable to rename we choose the categorical one and where we see one we replace those by female and two by male okay so we can close that and close that so now we put our quantitative variable as variable one so that's the entire you know, the the combination of those two samples and then in the second variable we choose the categorical variable and here because we've we've renamed it's got the female box plot and the male box plot there now if we click the get inference button down the bottom here um, we want to conduct a t-test and notice that it gives us a, a checkbox here um, do we wish to use equal variance or not? Now based on those two box plots, um, the interquartile ranges, indeed the ranges, are roughly equal. So in this case using an equal variance um, probably makes sense. So selecting OK there, um, it produces this output for us. So individual confidence means, um, so for the two separate population means and notice that those two intervals don't overlap a confidence mean uh, sorry, a confidence interval for the difference in two means again all those um, values are negative and so zero is not in included in that interval so we'd expect to reject a null that the difference is zero here is our t-test results assuming equal variance so um, the test statistic 38 degrees of freedom because we've chosen equal variances and a p-value of 0.34 of 1% so a very small p-value so we'd reject that null hypothesis we've chosen to use a, an assumption of equal variances and here we see actually a hypothesis test for that um, the p-value is 0.4646% for that particular test so we wouldn't reject the null of equal variance and therefore um, using this p-value is probably you know, absolutely fine if we'd chosen not to use equal variance um, so the same null value the same alternative um, most of this doesn't change the interval uh, sorry the interval 
for the lower and upper values um, haven't changed at all um, and the test statistic hasn't changed but the degrees of freedom now is slightly less and the p-value is ever so slightly different um, so in the fifth decimal place there um, so that's the the two sample t-test in Insight. So the, the one thing to note is we need a categorical variable there. Flicking to Excel, um, assuming you have the data analysis add-in, um, we can do those tests here. But what it wants when we when we use the data analysis menu is um, the two samples in separate blocks. So here let's sort on gender. So now um, here are all the female values and below the males. Okay, so sorting on gender or putting, you know, if the data is in separate columns we don't need to worry about that. So from the data menu choosing data analysis and we have the F test two sample for variances so we could conduct that first um, before doing a two sample test either assuming equal variances or assuming unequal variances. Let's do the unequal variances one just to illustrate. So okay variable one range selecting the female scores variable two selecting the male scores Hypothesis, hypothesized mean difference, so Insight had the default of zero, in fact that's what we do want here. Test level we can select 5% and then OK. So it works out the sample means and, and variances. Um, degrees of freedom 37 in this case. Um, it's an approximation. Um, there's the t-statistic and there is the two-tailed p-value that we would need to interpret. Okay, so relatively um, simple based on that based on that data. The key being um, that we're able to organize the, the two samples separately so we can highlight those cells.